what's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we have a complete Star Wars action figure collection video and uh, we'll start with my uh, with my first case. Uh, I ran out of room so these guys are a little bit out of order but you know for the mo most part my, how my cases go they are set up from you know the timeline of when these characters would have appeared in the Star Wars universe. But up top you know we got some prequel guys you know Kit Fisto, uh, Count Dooku, Plo Koon and a heavy battle droid. So here, you know, there's a little bit of a glare, but you can see, you know, some prequel characters and some Knights of Roll Republic of Revan. So that's my first shelf. Shelf number two would be Solo, a Star Wars story. You know, let me go back up top so you guys can see uh, some of the characters. We'll try to pan over them. Okay. Reflection for other people. Boom. Next shelf. We got my Rebels characters. I'm trying to get out of the glare. Got my Rebels characters. Rogue One. New Hope. Boba Fett. I love having a Tarkin figure. The Emperor. Vader. And Trooper. Let's go to the next uh, the next case. We're gonna start out and show you the top. Got some gaming greats figures. Um, you know, I actually really like these. These are like the first like original trilogy trooper molds I've gotten. And but as you guys know, who have seen my top ten Black Series of 2020, you can see my all-time favorite trooper, which is the Red Mix Stormtrooper. So here we are beginning with the Mandalorian characters which I really love. Um, this is probably one of my favorite Black Series figures of all time. He's holding Grogu. And now we're starting to get into the sequel trilogy. Remember, I try to go by timeline. You know, we end it with the original trilogy in the last shelf, and in between the original trilogy is the Mandalorian. So, this is my first and final order shelf. Really like these figures a lot. Here we have the Resistance. Pretty cool figures. It's it's like it's really funny how like the lack of Rise of Skywalker figures we really did get. And this is kind of a hodgepodge of sequel trilogy figures that I just you know had over the time. <laughs> Alright, let's show you more of the Black series and some other Star Wars figures. Alright, we'll start up top. Now this is kind of where things get a little bit different because like I said, you know, I lost room and things started to get a little crazy. So up top. We got our Holiday Troopers, you know, Darth Nile, the Mud Trooper from the Han Solo movie, my favorite figure of 2020, Vader, Bosk, Kylo Ren. So now we have Clone War figures, which I love. These figures are so cool. That Ahsoka is amazing. Now we have some more Mando figures. IG-11. I reviewed some of these figures. If you guys want, I'll just link above my Star Wars Black Series playlist. You guys can just go down because I did review several of these figures. Keep going. Now we're getting into some of the Galaxy's Edge guys, which I really love this Rex. I love Hondo. And then we got Captain Cardinal. We'll pan over again, back away, uh, back the other way so you guys see you again. Like I said, so in this shelf, it's Clone Wars, Galaxy's Edge, and The Mandalorian. So, all and I really like this shelf a lot. It's one of my favorite setups of my collection. Now, we'll check out the rest of my Black Series and some other uh, Star Wars figures. All right, so here's more of a hodgepodge of Black Series figures that, like I said, they kind of start losing like timeline sets when, uh, you know, when you start running out of space, you kind of have to find space. <laughs> so. We'll start down low. We got a couple of Rise of Skywalker characters. You know, Zori, some Rey. You got a uh, L3, the Purge Trooper, Jet Trooper, Akbar, and Ewok, Chewie. Back here, we have two more Black Series, and plus my two Diamond Select figures, which I really, really love. I actually am excited to see what more Diamond Select comes out with. Rey, and then here's the other. Rebel characters. Uh, the other ones that came out 
and I was able to put them in my pet class case and I just haven't switched them out but eventually I will have all my Rebels guys together and then we have the Black Series Wampa. So let me show you the next set of figures which are the Disney Store Elite. All right. This I have by, again, timeline. So we go by the prequels for Maul, Anakin, and Grievous. Then we get into Rogue One. This is the only way you can get the complete <laughs> Rogue One characters in like a somewhat black series form. These are the Diecast Elite series that were exclusive to the Disney store. I really like them a lot. I'm sad that they kind of hold, they kind of are lacking on the line. The last figure we got is, you know, R5. But as you can see, we only go up to The Last Jedi. Um, after The Last Jedi, unfortunately, toy sales, I'm sure, dropped immensely. But um, it's all good. So I have all my figures up until The Last Jedi. We got for The Last Jedi, what represents that is Snoke, Luke, and the Praetorian Guard. But guys, this was my Star Wars action figure collection. I hope you guys liked it. I really love uh, the figures I have. If there's any figures you see and you want me to review them in a later video, please comment down below. And as always, if you can subscribe to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day, guys. Bye.